leading the British and Irish talents at the Screen Actors Guild Awards on Saturday night at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles were Emily Blunt, Carrie Mulligan, Killian Murphy, and Hannah Waddingham. With a handmade Louis Vuitton crimson gown and a plunging neckline that highlighted her jaw-dropping form, Emily, 41, made sure all eyes were on her. The actress, who is up for a nomination for her performance in Oppenheimer, accentuated her appearance with matching bracelets and a gold necklace. Emily accessorized her appearance with a pair of diamond earrings while allowing her blonde hair to cascade over her shoulders. Carrie, 38, looked glamorous as she arrived at the celebration wearing a gold strapless Armani Prive dress that accentuated her amazing figure with a ruched feature down the center. The maestro actress used identical heels to complete her look and cut her blonde hair into a sophisticated haircut. Wearing a black blazer, bow tie, and matching pants with a fresh white shirt, Killian looked dashing for the occasion. For his work in Oppenheimer, the movie actor received a nomination for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Leading Role. Ted Lasso actress Hannah, 49, grabbed attention when she wore an off-the-shoulder dress in a dark crimson color that showed off her toned legs. Ted Lasso's co-star Juno, who plays Hannah's sister, looked stunning in a strapless navy dress with side cutouts that accentuated her toned tummy. Wearing a matching clutch bag and black open-toe heels, the actress accentuated her height. Juno styled her blonde hair into thick curls and accessorized her evening ensemble with a black necklace. For the occasion, Naomi Watts looked stunning as always, donning a black translucent dress with a floral motif on top of a matching pencil skirt. The feud actress sported a black clutch purse and had her blonde hair in a loose bob. Her spouse Billy Crudup was also present. Belle Pauli chose a silver strapless Chanel dress with a frilled decoration and tiered design. Kenneth Branagh looked dapper wearing a black vest and matching pants with a white shirt underneath. When Idris Elba appeared on stage wearing a navy three-piece suit and matching tie, he displayed his stylish sense of taste. At the 30th annual SAG Awards, which were held on Saturday at the renowned Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, Jeremy Allen White was the first recipient. For his role in The Bear, the 33-year-old actor was awarded outstanding performance by a male actor in a comedy series. A.O. Edabairai, who co-starred with him in The Bear, was also honored with an outstanding performance by a female actor in a comedy series award. Pedro Pascal surprised everyone by winning outstanding performance by a male actor in a drama series for his work in The Last of Us, defeating the leading men of succession. SAG-AFTRA members choose the winners by casting ballots in a variety of categories for their preferred candidates. Barbie and Oppenheimer lead the film nominations with four nods apiece, and Issa Rae and Kumail Nanjiani revealed the nominees earlier this year on Instagram Live. Among the nominations for Outstanding Performance by a Female Actor in a Leading Role are Emma Stone from Poor Things and Barbie star Margot Robbie. Oppenheimer's Killian and Maestro's Bradley are both in the running for Best Performance by a Male Actor in a Leading Role. One of the nominees for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Supporting Role is Ryan Gosling, who portrayed Ken in Barbie. For the title, he will fight against Robert Downey Jr., Willem Dafoe, Robert De Niro, and Sterling K. Brown. With five nominations overall, the popular HBO Max drama series Succession received the most nominations in the television category. Brian Cox, Kieran Culkin, and Matthew McFadden are three of their stars that are up for the same award, outstanding performance by a male actor in a drama series. Additionally, Sarah Snook is nominated for Outstanding Performance in a Dramatic Series by a Female Actor. It will also be up against The Crown, The Gilded Age, The Last of Us, and The Morning Show for Best Ensemble in a Drama Series. Four nominations were also garnered by the comedy series The Bear and Ted Lasso. For Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture, all three are nominated. For the first time, Netflix will broadcast the ceremony live. Netflix aired the awards from the previous year on their YouTube channel.
The award ceremony coincides with the months-long strike by sag FTRA over concerns of pay in the streaming era and artificial intelligence, which led to a settlement with the film studios. The strike started on July 25, 2023, and on November 8 a provisional agreement was reached. December 5, 2023 was the official end date, with 78% of voters voting in favor. The decision was a big relief for union officials and the entertainment business after a grueling few months of strikes, despite differences over the final accord. The WGA strike, which took place from May 2 to September 27, fell during the same time as the boycott.